السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیبٹس آف دا پیپل ویری امپارٹنٹ سم ہیبٹس میک آور ایمان مور پاورفل فار گیونگ پیپل از اے گڈ ہیبٹ دس ہیبٹ میکس اے پرسن مور فیوریٹ بفور اللہ When you forgive the people, Allah forgive your sins, your mistakes, your evils. And mashallah, you become a favorite person before Allah. So this is the blessings of Allah. One way it, it makes you a favorite person before Allah. And the second way it strengthens your iman also. and uh, allah is uh, ready to forgive the sins and evils and calling allah many times come for forgiveness to me i am ready to forgive your sins and evils so allah is ready to forgive even if you look in surah ghafir ayat number 3 allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim غافر زمبی سو اللہ سیڈ اللہ از ریڈی ٹو فار گیو یو آر سینس و قابل توبی اینڈ اللہ از ریڈی ٹو ایکسیپٹ یو آر ریکویسٹ فار فار گیونس اینڈ توبہ سو دس وے وی ہیو ٹو return to allah and request for forgiveness because allah is ready to forgive all the sins if you look in surah nur ayat number 22 allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim ala tuhibuna do you like ان یغفر اللہ لکم دیٹ اللہ فار گیو یو ڈو یو لائک دس دیٹ اللہ فار گیو یور سینس و اللہ اینڈ اللہ غفور الرحیم اینڈ اللہ از دا موسٹ فار گیون دا موسٹ مرسیفل سو دس وے اللہ سیڈ سو ڈو یو لائک Allah forgive your sins. So in invitation, look the how is the uh, way of inviting the people uh, to uh, towards astaghfar, towards forgiveness. So Allah is inviting in a beautiful wording. Allah to hibbuna, do you like? An yaghfir Allahu lakum, that Allah forgive you. So, beautiful wording, invitation. Do you like that Allah forgive you? Then you say, a person say, MashaAllah, yes, 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 Alhamdulillah. Allah said, then come to me. Wallahu and Allah, Ghafur Rahim. Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. So come, just for forgiveness. Allah is ready to forgive. So Allah is calling you. Even if you look in Surah Hijr, آیت نمبر فورٹی نائن اللہ سیڈ اوز بلّہ من شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ سیڈ نبی گیو دس نیوز ٹو دا پیپل عبادی او مائی سلیوز انی ان ڈیڈ آئی آن الغفور الرحیم آئی ایم دا موسٹ فار گیونگ دا موسٹ مرسیفل سو دس از ادر انویٹیشن Even Allah said, announce just before the people. Nabi, this, announce before the people. Ibadi, O oh my slaves. Anni an al-ghafur al-rahim. Indeed, I, I am the most forgiving, the most merciful. So Allah is calling the people. 
why you are not listening allah is ready to invite you come for forgiveness allah is ready to forgive you even you can see this type of other uh, invitation in surah zumr ayat number 5 allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim allah allah mean like this is announcement o oh people hova hova mean allah hova al azizul ghaffar so allah has supremacy over everything ghaffar and the most forgiving allah will make you free from all types of sins so you will get freedom from the sins if you bow down before allah in tauba astaghfar ma sha allah this is very important message for us and even if you look in surah taha allah said surah taha ayat ayat number 82 اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله سد و اني لا غفار و اني اند اي ام لا غفار اي ام ذا موست فار جيفنج سو الله سد كم تو مي اي ام ذا موست فار جيفنج اي فار جيف لمن تابا to that person who do tauba a person who do tauba who repent request for forgiveness then allah accept tauba astaghfar of that person and allah said wa amana and that person then believe wa amila salihan and start doing good deeds summa hatada so then this person comes at right guidance so this is the blessings of allah so allah said when the person come to me with sincere heart with purity masha allah and request for forgiveness repent nice way before allah and request for forgiveness before allah then liman taba when this person request and repent allah wa amana then allah give the power to the person to stay with iman wa amana then the person stay with iman wa amila salihan and the and the body parts of the person they move to do those type of deeds which are in islamic sharia so those are amal saleh which are good deeds the person every time tries to do those one also and this is the indication that this person came at right guidance so mahatada so this is the right guidance comes before the person this is the biggest uh, ihsan of allah the favor of allah upon us that masha allah we when we get access before allah just for forgiveness at doing tauba astaghfar then as a result we get with the blessings of allah the power help assistance and full help in order to keep iman safe and do good deeds and stay at the right guidance so this is the blessings of allah masha allah this way we say like make a dua make a dua before allah in like this dua is like in surah araf ayat number 
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی ار ریکویسٹنگ اللہ انت ولینا یو ار اور فرینڈ او اللہ یو ار اور فرینڈ انت ولینا فخ فر لنا سو پلیز فار گیو اس فار ہم نا اینڈ بی مرسی فل اپان اس و انت خیر الغافرین and you are the most forgiving so this is allah's blessings upon us that allah is the most forgiving inviting us every time for tauba astaghfar we try to do it and if you want if you are having so many uh sinful act you have done in your life you think i have done so many mistakes so many sins so many evil practices i have done so much i my heart is completely black i how is possible for me to bow down before allah for tauba astaghfar don't worry you try to recite allah's name ghafoor We are today learning Allah's name, Ghafoor. Ya Ghafooro, Ya Ghafooro, Ya Ghafooro. Read it, start and end with Durood o Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Ghafooro, Ya Ghafooro, Ya Ghafooro. Read it 1,286 times. 1,000. 286 times try to recite ya ghafuro ya ghafuro ya ghafuro then you have to request allah for forgiveness of your evils sins and whatever you have done bad deeds request allah for forgiveness inshallah you will find allah to forgive your sins and giving to giving you total freedom from the sins mashallah so sometime uh, some people they have uh, some type of uh, uh, like heart heart is like uh, this is the greatest uh, heart like uh, they say my son or uh, gave me so much hurt so much grief so much sad the person is so this sadness this grief this type of hurt that is the person's heart is not uh, Uh, like feeling well and a person's health is you know this type of hurt which is damaged damaging the person's health also if this type of this type of situation is happening and uh, then uh, the person should read ya ghafuro ya ghafuro ya ghafuro درود و سلام ٹو ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اسٹارٹ اینڈ اینڈ 1286 ٹائمز کنٹینیو ریڈنگ ایوری ایوری ٹائم انشاءاللہ یو ار یو ار دس ٹائپ اف گریو اور سیڈنس اور ہارٹ یو ار your heart that was hurt by someone so this will finish and you will find mashallah yourself free from it and you will relax with the mercies of allah alhamdulillah sometime you know the a person who has like headache fever or sometime the person is ill with some disease and the disease is not finishing disease is continue no going off so what you have to do then you try to read 
Allah's name, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, start and end with Durood Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Read 1286 times and then blow on your medicine or blow on your food. Continue this one at least 11 days. Inshallah, the disease, illness, headache or some other type of fever or any other disease. So that will finish and you will become healthy inshallah. Sometimes people say, I have a business, I have big business. Some people say I have shop and some people say I have uh, like I am the officer. Uh, uh, so but but everyone say so so much money I earn but near the end of month nothing left and uh, I feel strange situation. Actually, this is the situation where we feel that there is no barka in the income of that person. In order to bring barka in your house, in your shop, in your business, so what you will do? You have to read Allah's name, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, 1000 times. Then blow on water. You can drink water yourself also. And uh, sprinkle this water in the corners of your shop and also in the, in, in the corners of your office also or uh, in your house also. And, uh, and uh, uh, read again. Uh, 1000 time Ya Ghafuro Ya Ghafuro start and end with Durood Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and blow in your house or in your business place or in your uh, uh, shop Inshallah Barka will come and uh, this type of uh, situation which was uh, uh, making trouble for you that will finish Inshallah If you feel that your children, they are, uh, they become angry quickly and they are not uh, like uh, following you, disobedient, then try to read Allah's name, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, 1286 one, one times. Start and end with Durood Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then you have to blow on your children or blow on the water or some other thing. Then give this one to eat or drink to your children. They will be obedient and inshallah you will find peaceful situation in your house. Sometime in the person uh, a person who whose manners are bad, whose akhlaq is bad, even if, if the person calls someone, he calls with bad name. So this type of situation happening with someone. This type of person, if wants uh, to, uh, to leave this type of habit, then recite Allah's name, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, Ya Ghafuro, 1,286 times and uh, start and end with Durood Salaam to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then you have to blow on uh, some food or some drink uh, or water and give this one to drink to that person whose akhlaq is not good whose manners are not good inshallah continue it to at least 21 days so that person will become better, inshallah. And if you try to make a habit uh, before going to sleep after Salatul Isha 
read at least yoga furo yoga furo yoga furo uh, start and end with durood salam to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, read it 1286 times every night inshallah you will have no worries no troubles even if sinful thing happen that will be allah will forgive that one also and uh, even your motivation will not be towards the sinful thing but your attraction will be towards good things and you will be at right guidance and you will get to peace of mind peace of heart and your life in this world and the world hereafter will become better we request allah to make our life in this world and the world hereafter better ameen alhamdulillah he rabbil alamin